Shout out to the Midwest, man. Absolutely. What, what can I say? All right, and just like as I said, we're going to see it. The Villager versus Luigi on PS2. All right. Yeah, on paper, this matchup should be pretty villager friendly. Ooh. We're seeing that already from Panda yeah, Bear. That was a really good bait with the Lloyd Rocket to set up the up smash. In neutral, it's not too bad for Luigi, but whenever he gets off stage, it's going to be a nightmare to maneuver around these Lloyd Rockets and bowling balls. Yeah, Luigi having that tether grab, though, that does latch off and serve as a lasting hitbox. How is he going to utilize it? Not going to find the bowling ball off the ledge. And are just making great use of this barrage of projectiles. Taking the opportunity to set up the tree, and that time it's gonna clash. Yeah, the Luigi Cyclone, the frame one interrupt. Yeah. It should be noted that one Luigi Fireball is not enough to get rid of it, of the void at any point, but Panda yeah. not even needing to resort to that. Yeah, Panda a minute in. Making re making really smart plays, spacing accordingly, tacking on damage when he needs to, and he finds Shanna's stock. Uh, Shanna, however, finding the uh, two frame there, and the Panda Bear now on stage. Gonna eat a chunk of the wood from the tree. Nothing too serious. Ooh, good umbrella into the Lloyd Rocket. Really inventive use of the F tilt there, as you mentioned. Panda already asserting dominance in neutral and just stuffing Shanna out. Yeah, Panda Bear, known as a player that uh, zones people out. However, he can he can make really good plays in boxing range. Villager, really solid recovery. Not going to have too much trouble finding his way back. Ooh, Luigi up smash. Going to find Panda Bear stock. Whoever's still ahead by 57%. Potent kill option there. Panda just has a well of patience, and Shanna just struggling to find his way in. Whenever he does, he's been able to get 25 to 30 percent pretty consistently, but it's just a matter of opening the door. Yeah, so far from this game, we haven't seen any like insane Luigi grab combos from Shanna. And Ooh. the the, uh, the Luigi missile is gonna eat the bowling ball. 39 percent off of the crowd at here as he goes for the two frame with a down tilt and gets it. Ooh. Gonna hit the balloons, but not Panda Bear. However, Panda Bear's still off stage. Shanna doing a good job at evening this game up. Actually, drifting past the ledge. Good trump, but actually Panda Bear coming out on top there. Ooh. Shanna, I don't... Did he not have a jump? I don't believe he did. He might have gotten beaten out. Panda Bear again. Trying to cement this lead here. Pulls around that tree. Here in Chicago, Ooh, man, you have to learn to respect yeah. the tree. Panda Bear, a big advocate for don't approach tree. And yet people always do. Super jump punch. He does drift back to the ledge, so not too much of a punish, but nearly getting lapped in percent here. Good parries from Shanna. However, he's not able to find anything from him. Unfortunate air dodge off the stage. Panda Bear gonna be taking game one. Shanna, however, all smiles right now. Definitely not worried. Yeah, I don't even think that's mental fatigue earlier because Shanna had a long delay between his last set and this one. Mm -hmm. Panda Bear coming this coming through this through the loser's path. So his mind had to have been pretty clear, but that was just an odd lapse there. Yeah, for sure. Oh, was he? Alright. My mistake, Shanna actually making his way through the loser's portion of bracket. Right, uh, no, the, one... the longer run. Yes. Yeah. Start battle. Luigi. Yeah, both characters, both players sticking with their tried and true mains. I didn't see the stage pick. Let's see what Shanna's counter is. And we're once again seeing a return to PS2. Go! Yeah, I don't think it was necessarily the yeah. stage that was the trouble for Shanna. He did dip a bit low one time, but Panda Bear's always going to have an option to do something in the ledge. Here it it's is. just a different thing. Panda Bear doing a good job getting out of that situation, still finding his way back to stage. Panda Bear just doing a really good job at just tacking on the damage from a distance. Good carry allowing him to get the tree set up. Ooh, good parry into the up special! 
And that's the thing about that move, it just deletes stocks. Super jump punch is so fearsome, especially in Mr. Sense. Villager below average weight there, and he's just gonna. Ooh, Shanna just waddling under the Lloyd Rocket. And especially a character like Villager, very light. Yeah, and I like his use of actually the ducking, it seems out of place here, but when you realize it's to get around some of these fairs and back airs, it's just dissuading Panda. He doesn't want to avoid them, he wants to stop Panda from throwing them out in the first place. Yeah, now with Shanna in the lead, actually having no reason to approach Panda Bear, it's Panda who's the one that has to engage. And so far, he's been doing a really good job with these uh, neutral trades. Wakes out the Cyclone this time and does go off stage. Ooh, there it is. The invincibility coming out, gonna keep the Lloyd Rocket from exploding on him. Really afraid as well. That time the super jump punch inches off. Yeah, finding his way back to the ledge though, not gonna get punished for it. Yeah, quick hop and a jump over. Barely avoiding the bowling ball, definitely gonna would have taken the stock. Regardless, Panda Bear finding the stock there. Only 58% separating the two. And that tree getting ready to fall. Shanna recognizing though after getting hit from it last game. Yeah, Panda just calling out Shauna's bluff there, going for that aerial instead. Yeah, Panda doing a really good job spacing now, especially that he knows that the gap is like closing. as well as he does go off stage but not willing to challenge the balloons. Ooh and the bowling ball though! Shanna misfiring right below the ledge and it's gonna eat the bowling ball out as a result. Yeah you have to be absolutely perfect with your green missile timings and Shanna made one slip up he's gonna lose a stock sub 80. Yeah Panda Bear doing a good job. A tireless barrage on Shanna's shield. Now Shanna off stage. Good work. Oh, he's stuck in the stage. He's still making his way back though. Panda Bear doing a really good job of capitalizing on these mistakes. And the bowling ball right, right from under the ledge. Panda Bear leading the series 2-0 with a very convincing two-stock victory. Three F smashes in a row. Call that the turkey. Panda yeah. Bear spot on with some of these spacing. Oh yeah, just imagine you're just under the ledge and villager staring at you and just pulls out a bowling ball from the void and just drops it on you. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. I mean, villager's just so unassuming. He has that smile on. Yeah. He what, has weapons, man. What, what size uh, bowling ball do you think he has? Oh, he's definitely like an 8 pound. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Absolutely. He's a weakling. Yeah. I don't know, man. He, he's a grown adult in his games, so it might be the Animal Crossing equivalent of a size 13. May have to work out for New Horizons. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah he's, he's gonna be stranded. Anyway, getting back here, game three, another uh, PS2 map. Let's see what kind of adaptation Shannon can make, because regardless of the SD we've seen in game one, Panda Bear is still looking really good. Good carry on that, but you're not going to get really anything comparing that disjoint. And able to air dodge back to the ledge successfully and convert to the dash attack. Waits out the Cyclone yeah. as well. Shanna been throwing that move out a little frequently and going to get punished for it. Stuffed out with Nair the air dodge. Not going to be too Ooh. costly. He read, he read the roll for the up smash. However, not the most powerful move. Going to attack on some good damage, but not going to do too bad for Shanna. Ooh, gonna miss the super jump punch. Luigi, Luigi Tornado gonna take it though. Luigi Cyclone, rather. Yeah, that's same. same. Good recognition same. for Shanna as well, because he went for the safer option, knowing that he was on top of the platform and had more than enough distance to just spare there. Yeah, uh, the first time, this is the first time Shanna has taken the first stock this set. So, we're gonna see two of the fireballs there, gonna eat each other out. Panda hasn't really felt the need to make too much use out of his pocket thus far, knowing that he has pretty superior zoning tools, but the Void Rocket will get through some of the fireballs. Yeah, Up there, yeah. narrowly. That was a uh, triple turnups, but it didn't do it. This one. Ooh, but the forward air off the stage. Panda Bear only at 25%. Not even waiting for the bowling ball, just finishing the job himself. 
Uh, Panda Bear doing that aerial cartwheel, gonna tack on 11% to Shanna. Back air, back air, F tilt from Panda, just applying a lot more damage and nearly even in percents. Yeah, Panda Bear reclaiming the lead and once again keeping Shanna off stage. Up tilt, not gonna find it. And I like that. That's a really high reward, medium risk option there for Panda. You're gonna sacrifice advantage state, but probably not too much else. Yeah, these pellets just continuing to come out of Panda Bear. Fishing for a deep, not gonna find it. However, regardless, Shanna kept off stage, gonna find the misfire and potentially cost them greatly. Yeah, Panda Luigi. Bear. Luigi means will tell you not all misfires are beneficial, and that one certainly put him in an awkward situation. Yeah, Shanna potentially on his la his tournament stock. Gonna need to answer back now if he wants to potentially keep himself in. Crouching to survive here is this time able to stand up under the war rocket. Shano really wanting to grab her panda bear, keeping himself away, not giving it to him. Panda bear whipping his own grab, Shanna getting his own as a result. Panda bear now the one off stage. Yeah, panda playing really reserved panda. right now. You couldn't yeah. pay him to approach. Yeah, panda recognizing he's only three minutes and forty seconds away from timing him out. Absolutely no reason to rush in recklessly. Good use of the arrow dodge to avoid the cyclone there. And Shanna getting a bit predictable. Yeah, Shanna having to be the one appro to approach. He's getting a little antsy. Yeah, she's had, even with half rage, not enough. Good wall jump, just continuing to just hit him with forward air. Covers the immediate neutral getup. Not gonna find the Luigi Cyclone there. However, Panda Bear hitting him with a back air. Potentially about to lap him on the stock here. One good hit will do it. This is now absolutely Panda Bear's game to lose. However, Shanna answering back with the Luigi Cyclone. We're in a last stock situation. Yeah, not impossible, especially as Luigi there. One grab yeah. could. Oh, oh, but the tree! Happy Earth Day, everyone. <laughs> Earth Day has come a month yeah. early. <laughs> Absolutely. Here we are now in losers final. Panda Bear gonna meet Super Dan there. Yeah. Only needing three wins here to have to take six in grand. Yes. Panda Bear, the villager player, moving on to New Horizons. Oh, ooh, that's good. That was actually really good. I'm gonna write <laughs> that one down. Yeah.